Good afternoon, my name is Shaquille Shepard, and I've been a private security shelter, shelter security officer for over three years. We are so excited to be here today alongside Mayor Bill de Blasio, Speaker Corey Johnson, and our own president, Kyle Bragg, to mark the beginning of a new chapter for private shelter security officers. The reality of shelter jobs is simple. We cannot afford a living in the city we work in. And that reality will soon change. Without further ado, I would like to invite the president of 32BJ, Kyle Bragg. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. 32. Yeah. 32. BJ. 32. BJ. Good afternoon. I'm Kyle Bragg, and I'm president of 32BJ. And we're here today to make a significant step to improve the conditions of thousands of essential workers who have been working in some of the most dangerous environments here in our city. These security officers serve our city by protecting our neighborhoods and shelters and making sure all New Yorkers can have a safe place to sleep at night. And yet, while serving New York's most vulnerable, many of them struggle to afford living themselves, and at times even find themselves homeless. When we surveyed security officers working in shelters, we found that they experienced homeless at a rate of four times higher than most New Yorkers while still working every day. We found that they also go without health insurance at a rate of four times higher than all New Yorkers. Over 90 percent of this workforce is made up of people of color, and they struggle to bring food on the table, pay their rent, to just do the basics for their families, and to survive and live in this city. That's not right. It's absolutely wrong. No one should get up every day and report to work and make the sacrifices that these men and women have made and still find themselves possibly homeless or without health care. These workers deserve a job with conditions commensurate with the importance of the work that they provide every day for this city. That's why we're so proud to stand here today with Mayor Bill de Blasio and our Council Speaker Corey Johnson to announce their commitment to making private shelter security jobs, family sustaining jobs for our essential workforce, which deserves these benefits. I'm also happy to have here today our Council Members Francisco Moya, yeah. one of the sponsors of our bills, to improve wages and working conditions for these workers. And even though she could not be with us here today, I would like to acknowledge and thank Council Member Diana Ayala, who is also a co-sponsor of this legislation. We we'll hear from all of them in more details on what is happening from some of the workers whose lives will be transformed by this commitment from our city leaders. In the past two decades, 32BJ has worked to transform security jobs from poverty jobs to jobs that, jobs that were paying 10 $9 to $10 an hour with no meaningful benefits to jobs that pay over $18 an hour with benefits that allow them to sustain their families here in this city. So we're proud of what we've done for over 14,000 security officers here in New York. And it's time to apply the same standards to more than 4,000 security officers in shelters here in New York so we can turn around the lives of these essential workers and their families. So now it's my great pleasure to introduce to you a champion of working people in this city, our mayor, Mayor Bill de Blasio. One of the things that I appreciate about Kyle Bragg is that he feels deeply when working people need help. He feels that he does something about it. He does not accept the world the way it is. He says we've got to keep going. We've got to keep going farther all the time to reach workers in need. 
And one of the things I love about 32BJ and about SEIU is constantly recognizing that more and more workers need to be organized, deserve their rights, deserve better pay, deserve better benefits. What this union does not only helps its own members or members that you bring into your fold, you help all working people through your actions. I say God bless you for that. And Kyle, thank you. From the very beginning when I knew you, you're the kind of leader that is grounded in the lives of working people. And what you do every morning you wake up, you think about how can we make more happen. And the fact that we're standing here today, we're about to immediately improve the lives of thousands of workers and their families because of your leadership. Thank you, Kyle. Yeah. Speaker Corey Johnson, Council Member Francisco Moyo, thank you. We have gotten together on many an occasion to change the rules of the game for working people and to prove that what I talked about, you may have remembered about eight years ago at this time, I used to from time to time mention the tale of two cities and the income inequality plaguing our city. We've done a lot together, all of us, to change that. We did a lot to put money back in the pockets of working people, whether it's paid sick days, or pre-K for children and families, or after school, all the things we've done to get health care to people, including something I'm very proud of, NYC Care. Any New Yorker who cannot afford health insurance gets health care coverage for free through NYC Care. These are the ways we go at income inequality and address the injustices that still pervade our society. But we got to keep at it every single day. And so now let's talk about the good people who provide security in our homeless shelters. You all will remember for years, as we've tried to take on the challenge of homelessness, this has been with us as a city about 40 years or more as a major challenge. We've heard, understandably, that folks who were living on the streets were worried about going into shelter because they needed to know shelter would be safe. And we've done a lot to make shelter safer. But it only works because of the folks at the front line who do the security work. They help keep everyone safe, and they are part of the solution to homelessness for that reason. Let's thank them for being part of that solution. But you can't ask someone to help us solve one of the most challenging problems we face as society, but not have enough to put food on their own tables or pay their own rent or take care of their own families. We're asking them to do something for all of us. We've got to do something for them. We've got to get it right. So Kyle and I have talked about this many times. And Kyle said, here's the solution. Here's what would make it right. It would be fair to these families, these workers, but it would be the right thing to do for the whole city. And after conversations with Kyle and Corey and his team, we all came to the same place. We decided the time is now to take this action. We're about to pass a city budget. And I am proud to announce today $40 million will be in the city budget to provide better pay, better working standards for these shelter security workers. I want every single one of the folks who provides the security to have decent pay, to have decent benefits, to have health insurance. And what is this going to mean? Not only are we able to get great people to do this work, we're going to be able to keep them. Because you can't retain really good people if you don't give them the compensation they need. This is going to allow us to have a better and better workforce. So in the next few months, it will go into the budget in these next days ahead, and then the next few one months will be implemented for over 4,000 working families, their lives are going to change this year, this year, 2021. Thank you to everyone who organized together. Thank you to Corey and Francisco for their leadership. And thank you, Kyle Bragg, for always standing up for working people. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I cannot overstate how important your commitment is for us and how much it will make a difference in my life and the lives of my coworkers. Now please join me in welcoming City Council Speaker Corey Johnson. Thank you. Good afternoon. 
Good afternoon. Uh, I want to thank you, Shaquille, for that very, very kind introduction. Uh, I want to just remind folks, as, as the mayor said, I'll talk about Francisco in a moment, but as the mayor said, we have stood together so many times over the last seven and a half years uh, that I've been in the council and that the mayor has been mayor, the last three and a half years that I have been speaker, so many times to improve the lives of working people in New York City. And it may not always get headlines. It may not always be uh, the top news that you see on television, but it is work that literally changes the trajectory of people's lives. And the work, as the mayor always says, because he was an organizer and I was an organizer before we got into government and politics, the work that makes this happen is because of all of you. And it is because of your union, 32BJ, and it is because of your president, uh, Kyle Bragg. So I want to really recognize the incredible team of Kyle Bragg and Candace Tolliver and everyone at 32BJ for making this a reality. Kyle is an incredible advocate for working people, and I'm honored to really call him uh, a friend. Uh, this is so much better than a Zoom press conference. Oh my God, yeah. Uh, but I also, but I also know, I also know that while many people over the last 15, 16 months were able to zoom into work or work from home, you all could not. You all went to work every single day. You left your kids, you left your loved ones at the height of COVID-19, and you went into work. And you all are essential, not just essential workers. You're essential people for our great city. And it is important that we recognize that and we acknowledge that. And you did that while making less than $15 an hour. You did that while not having the proper affordable uh, insurance that you needed. You did that without having the benefits that you all deserve. And uh, you did that uh, with compassion towards people who are experiencing homelessness in New York City right now. As the mayor said, you all are part of the solution to homelessness in New York City, and we are deeply grateful. Uh, I just want to say, just for a moment, uh, we wouldn't be here today without Diana Ayala, who's not with us, and my good friend Francisco Moya. And Francisco Moya is someone who I think represents the most immigrant-rich, diverse district in the entire city of New York, and he always, always, always stands on the side of working women and working men, and I want to thank you, Francisco, for getting us uh, to today. So we are going to uh, get this done, the Safety in Our Shelters Act. The mayor talked about it, uh, over $40 million in the upcoming budget to improve the lives of 4,000 workers across New York City. And I just want to, for a moment, kind of put that number aside of 4,000 and just think about those individuals. Yep. Let's not think of it as a big number. Let's think of how many lives we are changing. And not just their lives, their children's lives, their loved ones' lives. We are changing with this commitment today, uh, really, the, the lives of so many people who have given so much to our city and who deserve to be compensated properly and adequately. So uh, I am deeply grateful uh, to 32BJ. Today is a, is a day for justice, and I will just sort of end with this. I talk to my mom on the phone every single day, every day. My mom lives in, in Salem, Massachusetts, and uh, for the last 17 years of her life, uh, she had me when she was 20 years old. Uh, she wasn't able to go to college. She went to community college later in life. And about 17 years ago, she said to me one day, she said, I, I want to try something. And I said, what? She said, I want to work at a homeless shelter, and I want to start a thrift store at a homeless shelter all through volunteers to raise money for the only homeless shelter on the North Shore of Massachusetts. And the year before COVID, my mom on her own brought in $700,000 to support the homeless women and men in that shelter. So my mom works with homeless individuals every single day helping to change their lives as to all of you and she taught me a motto at a young age which was do the most good for the people who need it the most and that's what we're doing today thank you very very much thank you mr speaker it means so much to know that people like you have our backs 
I would like to tell you a bit about my story as a security officer. Right now, I work at a family shelter in Queens. I love my job. In the shelter system, we work with people from all walks of lives who have different stories. I like being able to help them and make sure that they have a safe shelter to get back on their feet. I know what many of them are experiencing because I have been in their shoes. Growing up, I lived in a homeless shelter with my mother. It was not an easy time, but we were lucky to find a Section 8 apartment and move out of the system. But now I'm under the constant fear that I could become homeless again at any time. I make $16 an hour. My mother doesn't work because she's disabled. I can barely afford rent, even with government assistance. I don't have health insurance because I simply cannot afford the, the plan my employer is offering. That's because the private security jobs are poverty jobs. We are supposed to be the ones protecting the shelter clients, but as officers, we're only a few steps away from being in their position. Today, I am thankful to Mayor de Blasio, Speaker Corey Johnson, and 32BJ for standing up with us to change that. Hearing your commitment to turning these jobs into good, family sustaining jobs gives me hope. It gives me hope that I will finally be able to afford to live in this city. Today is a day that I will remember for a long time. Pre prevailing wage for me means that I can finally support my mother, pay off my student loans, and even start thinking about saving for my future. And health care will mean that I don't have to go months without having to see a doctor. Thank you for committing to improving our standards. Thank you for committing to jobs for over 3,000 security officers. And thank you for always standing with the working people. And now I would like to introduce one of our co-sponsors of the Safety in Our Shelters Act, Council Member Francisco Moya. Yeah. Thank you. Give it up for Shaquille. Shaquille, you're an inspiration. And the reason why some of us are in government is because we have the ability to be able to change the lives of so many, and your story has been so impactful. Uh, good afternoon. I'm, I'm Council Member Francisco Moya, and I, I really want to start off by thanking uh, Mayor de Blasio uh, because you've stood up for those people that stood up for New York uh, in its darkest hours. And it's truly uh, this type of leadership uh, that will help New York recover again. Uh, you're really basically changing the lives of so many people uh, who worked tremendously hard uh, to put food on the table for their families. And we have to thank you, Mr. Mayor, uh, for what you've done. I want to thank Speaker Corey Johnson, who's been a leader. He's been uh, a true leader throughout this pandemic. He's been someone who stood up for the working class community. He's been in the trenches with us from day one. And when we started talking about uh, this issue, and we started talking about what was happening to a lot of the security and shelter workers, he immediately said, we got to get this done. And he has fought tirelessly to ensure that we work on really producing the right budget. Uh, he is someone who stood up for every single person that has been impacted uh, by this pandemic. So thank you, Speaker, for your leadership. Thank you for your friendship. Thank you for all that you do. And I want to say, uh, there's, there's, there's a saying in Spanish. Hay un dicho en español que dice, eh, tú me dices con quién caminas y te diré quién eres. What it means is, in English, is a man is known for the company that he keeps. That's Kyle Bragg. That's right. Kyle, I've known for many years. He stood on so many picket lines with me and others. He has been the driving force behind every single worker at 32BJ. I'm incredibly proud to call him my friend, uh, a longtime suffering Nick fan like myself. <laughs> but this man, yeah, still suffering. Well, we had a good year. We had a good year, okay? But I have to say thank you, Kyle, for your leadership. Thank you for everything that you've done uh, for the membership here at 32BJ. Uh, we are very fortunate to have you as the president that is leading the way to this recovery. And so, again, I just want to say, uh, as introing uh, intro 2006, which is part of the 
Safety in our Shelters Act. It establishes a prevailing wage for shelter secu security workers. And throughout this pandemic, what we've seen over and over again is the health and economic disparities, the rising cost of living, and the impact of the communities that were hardest hit by COVID. You know what it's like to be on the front lines because that's what you signed up for. You signed up to care for New Yorkers who find themselves in a personal state of emergency. You're the very people who continue to make the sacrifices for countless New Yorkers, and you did it during the worst pandemic in our history. So for us, it is uh, a way in which we will work towards recovery, and that means that we cannot leave behind those that suffered the brunt of this pandemic. And that's why today I'm so proud to be standing along with my colleagues in government and those that championed this to uplift the lives of thousands of our brothers and sisters here at 32BJ. And thank you again for the commitment, Mr. Mayor, to $40 million to raise the standards for essential security workers across our state. And that means that we will be making prevailing wage and health care and paid time off, comprehensive training, and more of these workers uh, and more of these essential things that they need a reality. So I want to thank you again for everything that you do. Thank you for advancing uh, this great initiative. And thank you to the membership of 32BJ for all that you do for uh, all New Yorkers. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, Council Member Moya. It's an honor to have your support. Next up, please wellow my fe fellow shelter security officer, Venice Carter. Hello, good afternoon. My name is Venice Carter. I am a private shelter security officer working in the Bronx. I've been a security officer for three years. I love my job. I'm so grateful to have Mayor de Blasio, Speaker Corey Johnson, and 32BJ for standing with us today. The commitment means better wages, health care, and training for thousands of my coworkers. After working day and night through the pandemic, we are finally moving closer to being able to afford living and better circumstances for our family. Earning the prevailing wage with me will make a massive difference in my life. So from the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you. Thank you for committing and improving our standards. We have been fighting this fight for a long time, and today we are seen we are heard. So yeah. thank you, everybody. Thank you, Venice. This will be the end of our press conference. Thank you all again for joining us today and marking this important day for security officers serving our shelters. I hope you have a good afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.